Hey everyone, it's Rai. I'm bringing you a really short video. This is going to be specifically targeted to people who are new to Civ 5, new to LECMOD, new to NQ, want to kind of learn how to do things in general, are probably overwhelmed, maybe don't really know where to start. That's kind of what we're going to focus on today. So the first thing is, you know, other than just like playing single player and just you know, going to Civ, going to single player, you know, making sure your settings are correct or whatever. You know, maybe you can't play on DDs, you play on whatever, like, or maybe you don't play on Immortal, you play on whatever. This is, like, not the way to practice, okay? At least from a multiplayer perspective, okay? Just, just doing this as it is will work, but it's not as efficient as it could be. So I'm going to show you guys kind of, like, what you can do. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to the Civ, your library or whatever uh, on Steam. You're going to go to Workshop, okay? We're going to type in the search bar in-game editor, okay? And then it's going to be this one right here, in-game editor. Um, it takes about five seconds to install. So once you have that installed, then you're going to be going into mods. You're going to find it here next, okay? Single player, and now now we're going to be able to run single player. So here, what I'd recommend doing is if you want to kind of truly practice the game and truly understand like how you're going to play, let's set it up properly. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick Yugoslavia. Okay. The reason we're picking Yugoslavia is because there's no early game bonuses this Civ gets. You're going to be playing pure pure vanilla. The other thing you want to do is you want to play on Immortal. Make sure your advanced settings are properly like done. You know, we're not going to be caring about the AI. When you're playing Civ and you're playing anything in regards to trying to represent what you could be playing in the no quitters group in multiplayer, the AI is completely irrelevant. I would probably, you know, turn all of this stuff off because we're only going to be working on the first 50 turns. Right. Only care about the first 50 turns. And why do I say that? Because everyone who, if you're not new, familiar with multiplayer, if, if you played vanilla, this likely doesn't apply as much to you. But if you've only ever played single player, you are going to 100% without a doubt be irrelevant by, 50, by turn 50 in most of the games you play. That means it's a waste of your time to continue for the most part because you're so far gone in most cases that it would just be better for your game, better for the your experience as a player, and better for, honestly, everyone else in the lobby if you had just focused on playing alone for 50 turns to kind of get the reps in. Um, and I, I don't want to... Sh and you know, Civ can be very overwhelming, um, especially when you go into the group and you see people with, you know, 10,000 hours, 15,000 hours, 20,000 hours, right? It, it's daunting, right? These play these people have been playing the game for over 10 years, right? Um, it, it's crazy. But I just want to emphasize a lot of new people are coming to Civ. It's a really good time to start learning the game. And there's a lot of resources out there to learn the game. And the other thing I'll say is I myself am a fairly new player. I started Civ as a whole in about 2020 in the middle of COVID. I took a year long break. So I've only been playing this game for about two years, uh, maybe like two and a half years. So the idea that you have to have been playing for a while to be good is completely wrong. Um, and I will show you exactly what I did in the next couple guides. I will show you exactly what I did to get to as good as I am. Um, and it's 100% replicatable. It's, um, and it, this is exactly what you should be doing. So let's start with this. So we have IGE, we have Yugoslavia. What are we gonna do? The first thing I'd recommend doing is if you haven't seen these yet, I'd recommend watching Gaofat's guides. I'll link these in the description of the video. Gaofat 
was the f person that actually got me into into Lec mod. Um, I had no idea when I was learning Civ with some friends. Um, I had no idea about anything. I found Galfat's YouTube channel, pretty much followed these guides religiously, and then that's kind of what's the foundation for my game. I'm going to be creating similar type videos to what he did, um, a different type of different types of content for sure. But this is a very great foundational tool that I'd recommend you guys using. These two videos specifically are incredible. The, they're a little outdated and some of his stuff that he mentions isn't as, um, isn't as useful as it, as it was then. But it is still 100% accurate. You can still follow this. You, if you, if you follow this to a T and you're able to replicate it, you'll, you'll be totally fine. So now we're in here. I would recommend just playing every single start and just getting your repetitions in, right? Don't re-roll. Don't do anything. Just play 50 turns. And maybe in the beginning, you only play 30 turns because there's a good chance a lot of you guys are not doing the th first 30 turns correct, right? So what should you be doing in this? What I would recommend, and I'll make a guide on this following this one, but what I would recommend is play it as if it's a multiplayer game. Don't go for ruins that are super far away. Don't be building wonders just because they're up. Let's focus on getting our cities down fast. Let's focus on, you know, trying to get our luxuries up. Let's focus on practicing our rollouts. Because like I said, most new players are completely irrelevant from the game by turn 50. The goal should be, how can I be as relevant as possible by turn 50 every single time? In my opinion, what makes a good player, oh, sets a good player apart from a great player is consistency. You will always see very strong players relevant every single game. And it's because they have mastered the first 50 turns of the game. After the first 50 turns, a lot can go wrong, a lot can go haywire, stuff that can be out of their control might take control, but great players will always be relevant by turn 50. Let's try to get there first. Um, okay, so again, this is just the first video. Remember, all we really covered is download IGE and practice in, in this. In the next video following this, I'll show you guys exactly like what to practice and what to look for and how to use it. But the reason we downloaded IGE is it because it allows us to open a map and a tool to give ourselves happiness. So for instance, let's say we had improved this sugar tile, but we didn't, and then we had met one of our neighbors or one of the AI, but they didn't have a Lux to trade us or they won't trade us their Lux. This happens all the time. And I think a lot of new players maybe don't realize the priority you should have on getting your luxuries up because they're not used to having to improve them as fast because the AI never has it up in this. Let's assume that the AI always does have it up. How can we play the game? Well, the way you do that, you go into here into, I'm, I just press control. I I'm going to spawn an old faithful right here, old faithful, and I'm going to make it my land. So now I just gained eight happy or four happiness. You're going to do that every single time you get a luxury trade or you get a luxury online to emulate a luxury trade because 99% of the time when you do this in multiplayer, there will be someone with a luxury to trade you. Um, so when you're practicing, play it in IGE, play Yugoslavia and only play the first 50 turns. And if you can do that, maybe you play the first 50 turns about 30 times. If you can kind of match Galfat's timings as he does in these videos, right? Like, let's zoom ahead. I actually haven't seen this in a long time. I wonder. But it's turn 46. You know, he's got math Amigo. or he's teching towards, uh, he's teching towards civil service, right? In this video, it's turn 46. It's around the same time. Right, it's about turn 50, you want to be heading towards civil-ish or you want to be heading towards workshops. This is very standard. You can 
see this kind of result in most NQ games, let's try to get to a point where you can hit these timings in every game. And from there, uh, we'll go into part two. So thanks everyone for watching.